The special congress will be to elect office barriers, the president, five vice presidents and a treasurer. This includes the appointment of secretary, general secretary and a auditor. Members of the PNG Trade Union Congress includes National Alliance Employees Association, PNG Teachers Association, PNG Energy Workers Association and Maritime and Transport Union. According to the trade union, the appointed officers from the last biennial Executive Council in 2011 overstayed the period. The Revitalization Steering Committee Chairman, Uwa Lobo Moana, says the officers currently in PNG TUC should have a contract formulated in 2013, but since there was no biannual Congress, they are illegally occupying the office, and all operations made by them are null and void. As the trade union movement addresses the dysfunctional, dysfunctional of PNG TUC states that there are no records, no proper records, no proper biannual congress, no proper mandate of the secretariat. So the way forward now, the way forward now is for the congress to set up, a special contract to, uh, congress to be set up, and the proper people put in place to address the serious uh, situation of the PNG Trading Congress. Trade union members say the PNG TUC must be revised by the Labor and Industrial Relations Department. They have also expressed disappointment with the departmental head. Sometimes uh, the, the Labor Department uh, would always prefer has uh, unions to go to court. National court should be the should be the last resort. The arbitration court that's supposed to handle all the issues concerning the terms and condition of the workers throughout Papua New Guinea, regardless of whether it's in the private sector, unions, or in the public sector, it is the first and the foremost labor department official. They are mandated, they are constitutional office holders. That's the duties and that's the responsibility to ensure that the terms and condition of the workers throughout the country must first be handled by the labor department. A letter was written to the Industrial Registrar, Helen Sellow, for her consent on the special congress held tomorrow. Marilyn Diaukatam, National MTV News.